What are you seeing on the ground right now? What is your experience of the current housing market? Good morning. So good to see you. Uh, you know, I think we're starting to see some normalization. Things are starting to be more balanced. What was the pandemic housing boom of 2021 um, has officially left the building, I would say. Um, that sort of irrational exuberance that we saw is gone. And we're seeing, you know, rates went up. So naturally, you know, applications are down. We saw that come out this morning. Contracts are down. Uh, there were eight signed last week, over $4 million here in New York, which is low, um, considering. And so I think we're seeing a bit of a slowing down, but it's contextual because there's incredible opportunity uh, in prices. So if your rate is a little higher, I think you can negotiate better on buying a home. Uh, but I do think, you know, markets, as Warren Buffett says, markets are here to serve us, not instruct us. Mm -hmm. And I think based on people's circumstances, um, they're still going to have to buy and sell and rent, et cetera. It just depends on what's going on. Yeah. And so it's not crazy. It's not the end of the world at all. Okay, well, Bess, if I'm a buyer, I'm going to swallow that higher mortgage rate, maybe try and use some negotiating power. Are there houses available for me? I mean, how much more balanced is supply with demand now? It depends. I mean, not all square feet are created equally. Where are you buying? Are you buying in Connecticut, uh, in Greenwich? You probably, there's not a lot of supply and prices are high. Palm Beach, again, another place where we have very little supply. Are you buying in New York City on the Upper East Side? There's a decent amount of supply here and you can negotiate. So it depends on where you're looking. I mean, real estate is so local. You can't just throw a blanket over it and say, you know, it's this or that. It depends on where it is because supply and demand fluctuates and certain markets Markets have ample supply and certain markets have very little supply. And that has been that way since the pandemic. Palm Beach is one of those markets that has truly suffered for a lack of supply. And people want to be there. People want to invest there. But there's so little to purchase. So New York City is your place to buy if that's where you want to buy. Okay. Useful advice. Bess, if rates <laughs> continue to climb, what happens? I, at the moment, we're at kind of circa 5%. You get up 6 7 maybe even 8 um, some people are talking about the potential for that to happen. How does that change the market? I mean, I think it creates more uncertainty in the market and people may wait longer. Uh, and, you know, it's still historically low, even if it ticks up to 6%, which I don't know that it will. Um, people may take a little bit more time in deciding to buy. But again, as I said earlier, it's all relative uh, because prices will be lower. So maybe if you say a year ago, you could get 3% on a 30 year, right? And today it's 6% or five and a half percent. The price last year was much higher relative to today. So maybe you're paying more in interest or for your mortgage, but the price of your home is less. So I think people will still continue to purchase because it's essential. Buying a home mm. is your best investment, in my opinion, because it's a, an investment over time. And it's also essential. You need a roof over your head. Uh, yeah. So for people, I think it's always a safe place to put money and you get to live there as well. Well, and it also depends on the money at your disposal. I mean, we talk a lot about retail and how in luxury things are looking okay, but middle and lower income, you're really starting to see the impact for retailers that cater to that bracket. How is that playing out in housing, luxury versus not? It's such a good point. I mean, so you're talking about discretionary spending. I think that's where we're starting to see a slowdown um, because people are feeling a bit of uncertainty. You see the stock market is a bit volatile. Inflation, although has it peaked? Are we in a recession? These are things economists are talking about. Um, you know, so people are feeling that sense of I might wait because uncertainty is not good for markets, right? They react to that psychology. People want to wait and see what will happen. So the luxury market has come to a bit of a slow down and it's continuing to slow down but i sorry i lost my voice it's the harry styles concert saturday night oh um, lucky you <laughs> apologize for that <laughs> I was singing, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but I do think, so discretionary spending is what we're seeing less of. And I'm hearing story after story of people who are going to buy something, a second and third home, and are going to wait until they see what's going to happen, how this shakes out. As you guys mentioned earlier, this is the six-month anniversary that Russia, you know, waged a war against Ukraine. Um, I know that's not a hot topic in the news all the time, but it's still going on. It's a moral crisis. Um, and I think that has an impact. Gas prices all those things. So I think there's a bit of wait and see in the luxury market. Yep. 
Bess, so are people taking out longer duration mortgages to manage their upfront or their near term costs? Is that what we're going to see? You talk about the kind of the length that people hold on to assets. Are people taking out longer loans to compensate for what we're seeing? I think we're going to start to see a bit of that now. Um, and I do think, um, as John Griffin had said earlier, you know, if you want to outperform the market, it's not timing, it's time. It's long term in the market. And I think homes are typically a long term investment. And so it makes sense to sort of get a product like a 30 year or something like that, because you're going to have it for a long time and get a rate that makes sense. So I think we'll start to see more of that. I don't know where rates are going to go. I mean, nobody does. Are they continued? Will they continue to go up? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens and how things play out in the economy.